All right, guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Sun and Moon playthrough. And guys, we are finally here, finally here with the episode in which we are going to be taking on the champion of the Alola region. That's crazy. So if you guys are excited, make sure you go ahead and drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated on the episode. And guys, if any episode deserves a like, it is right now. Show your support, guys. We are here with the finale of the main story. Same main story, because we should be doing some post-game on the channel, but that is to come. Because now, we'll, we'll just focus on the present. Present. So, here we go. The team in which we're going to be taking on the champion is Delta the Lycanroc. Chilling with Rock Slide, Brick Break, Crunch, and Stone Edge with the Rockium Z. Pajama the Laurent the Laurentis, excuse me, with Leech Life, Leaf Blade, and Poison Jab, and Brick Break with the Grassium Z. Cassius the Palosan with Psychic, Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, and Earth Power with the Spell Tag. Boomer the Zygarde, 10%, with Brick Break, Earthquake. Hey, that rhymes. Brick Break, Earthquake, Crunch, and Lands Wrath. That doesn't really rhyme either way. <laughs> then we have Ramsey, Chef Gordon Ramsey in the house. Oh my god. With Darkest Larry, uh, Darkest Larry, excuse me. Leech Life, Fire Fake, and Flare Blitz. And last but not least, our boy Toxicity with Toxic, Baneful Bunker, Bite, and Veno Shock. And that is the squadron. And I think we are ready. So, unfortunately, I do not know what uh, what level the champion, or not what level, what uh, type the champion uh, specializes in. I'm hoping it's a diverse type because those are my favorite champions to take on. I don't really like Steven that much or uh, fighting Steven. I think Steven's a really cool character and I don't really like fighting Iris that much. I like, you know, Cynthia. She has a really cool team. Uh, what's his freaking blue has a really cool team or rival in red and blue and stuff like that. I don't know. People have cool teams when they're diverse. Anyways, let's just freaking do it. Let's freaking do it. And then what's her name? Diantha. She has fairy types. Ah, I just really rather they have a diverse team. Makes it so much more fun to fight. We hear the steps. Oh my god, look at this. This is so freaking cool. I want to walk. Alright, so there's no one here. Yay, so we just, we're just champion now. <laughs> Yay, that, that's all we have to do. <laughs> we end the episode. Alright, I'm about to go sit in this chair. Are there, if I sit in this chair, am I about to be like, possessed or something? I'm sitting in it. And we're champion now, right? This just makes us champion. Oh yeah, you're now the Pokemon League champion. I was like, nah, it's like, wouldn't it be nice if that was that simple? The truth is, there's only one person you have to battle if you want that title. And of course that train- <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude! Cuckoo is the champion, that's awesome! Ah, That is so freaking cool, man. You never get to battle the professor in games. Well, I know in red and blue you were supposed to, and that's how you can find like Professor Oak in the wild and stuff with glitches. Ah, it's so freaking cool. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so hyped. If you can't tell, obviously you can tell. So he's got a lichen rock. Okay, so it is a midday for him. Oh my god, listen to this music. I'm gonna have a freaking seizure. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm not really worried about a cell rock. Look, it's midnight versus midday. I didn't even notice that. Uh, let's go to Cassius. Let's try it. Let's try it. We should be able to eat up anything. If he wants to go for a rock move, so be it. If he wants to go for ground move, so be it. Ooh, if he wants to go for crunch, I don't really like that. Does he get crunch? Stel you chode. Are you serious, man? Dude, all of these people are just, they're just competitive gods. All right, I'm going for earth power. He does have crunch. All right, can I please kill? Come on. Nice. All right, so first Pokemon down. First Pokemon down. All right, so please, come on, send out something that's not a rock type. Come on, have a diverse team, please. Don't be a rock type. Actually, that'd be stupid if he was a rock. There was a, all right, nine tails. Actually, this is gonna be an ice type. I'm gonna go out to my Lycan rock now. It is going to be an ice type because it's a Lolan. It has to be a Lolan. If this is not a Lolan, I'm gonna be very upset. I will be very upset. All right, let's see. Yep, there it is. Ah, it's such a cool Pokemon. Really cool. Oh, yeah, those pointed stones. God damn it. <laughs> All right, and um, I know a Lolan Ninetales gets a move that's like Reflect, but ah, oh, really? I don't know what it's called. Is it Aurora Veil or something like that? I don't know. I've seen it. In competitive use, like I, they'll send out a load of nine tails, and I'd be like, oh, okay, and then they'll go for 
that move and then I'll just one shot him with Faramosa. <laughs> so it's like doesn't really matter, but I don't know. I remember it. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to die here, but I don't. Oh, 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 I was going to say what switches into a blizzard on my team. Exactly. Like, like you can say Incineroar, but I'm taking rocks damage. Like that's not going to work. It really won't. All right, if I had Rapid Spin, I'd totally use it, but unfortunately, I don't. Snorlax. Definitely gonna have to have, uh, have to have to have. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to stall this thing out. I think that's the only way I will really be able to beat it. I'm really hoping he doesn't have immunity. If he has immunity, my whole plan is foiled, and this will definitely not work. Um, if he has that move, what is it? It's pancake something? Ha! Oh my... Oh, that did nothing. That actually did nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go for Baneful Bunker. I don't. I know he's in Safeguard, but I think he still should get poisoned. Um, and we'll figure out if he has immunity. He actually probably will have a Lumberry if he. I, I'm, I'm gonna predict that Lumberry. Do you have a Lumberry? Let's see. Let's see. Oh wow, it didn't even work. Wow, I'm actually really surprised. That's how. Okay, come on, flinch him, flinch him, flinch him. All right, at least end the Safeguard here. At least end the Safeguard. Does the safe card never go away? Come on, go away. I need to I need to poison you. Please. Please let me poison you. Alright, hyper potion. Back up. Almost full. Almost full. High heart. It actually misses. Okay. Alright, so no more safeguard. It's almost like that nine tails knew I was gonna try and toxic this thing. And it I don't know if immunity, the ability immunity, if it makes it so you can't get poisoned or you just don't take poison damage. So it's like magic guard where like you can get poisoned, uh, but you just won't take damage between the turns. So let's see Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, cuz I know this thing gets immunity. What are its other abilities? Um, doesn't is it unaware? No, it's not unaware. I don't remember All right, Venom shock And it doesn't do too much, but that's not really the damage I'm looking for so I don't care Um, Yeah, he's really hurting me I'm gonna go for baneful bunker here just to be a little bit of a dick. <laughs> really, just, just because of that. And this toxic turn plus a Venoshock plus the next toxic turn should be enough to kill this thing. It should. So unfortunately, we will be sacking our toxicity here. But it's for the it's for the greater good. It's for the greater good. Come on. Yeah, that has to kill next turn. Has to. Money on it. So like I said, we will die here, but. Let's wait for that poison damage. Let's wait for it. Come on. Perfect. Snorlax goes down. That's what I love Toxicity for. If we didn't have Toxicity, I do not know what I would do against this thing. I mean, obviously we have Brick Break on our homeboy um, Delta, but that we saw it had high horsepower, so it would have just destroyed us. But did you guys see how much we were tanking that? That was cr- Oh my god. This is definitely not going to work out. Actually, I'm going to try and go for Crunch here. Actually, that's a really bad play. That's a very, very bad play. No bueno. No bueno. Actually, I need to stay in. I need to stay in. Who do I... S I don't have a switch in. I don't have a switch in. Um. Yeah, Brave Bird. That'll do a lot. I don't think it'll kill. We should be able to live one. Unless this thing's like banded, which I don't think it would be. Yeah, it's not banded. Oh my god, that does so much. But this plus a crunch. How much will that do? How much? Nothing. It actually does like seven. All right, I'm gonna go for a Hyper Potion here, and I'm going to Hyper Potion Lycan Rock. He's gonna switch out to Primarina. So he has the starter that's good against your starter. That's really cool. I like the fact that the Professor has a starter. Um, your Fairy type, I'm just gonna go for, ooh, no, no, I should've went for the Z Earthquake. Ah, oh, shit, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, Z Earthquake definitely would have killed. Or Tectonic Rage, I think it's called. Alright. Alright. Primarina surrounded itself in Z power. Alright. Actually, that wasn't the Primarina Z move. That was the... That was the regular one. Okay. Interesting. So I was going to say, I'm pretty sure, whatever it's called, Sparkling Aura? Is that what it, No, I don't know what it's called. The one where you use the Primarina Z thing, like we have the Incinium Z or the Primarinium Z or whatever you call. 
that one i'm pretty sure like i was gonna say like we need to cut this out or like mirror the image because nintendo copyrights it or i know they used to copyright it uh pre marina z move if you used footage from it they'd be like hey that's ours but but not for any other z move so i was gonna say i'm gonna have to like mirror this image but they didn't use it it was hydro vortex which is just like i said it's just the uh normal water one so interesting interesting to say the least but it does look like Braviary is here. I think he only has two Pokemon left, which is really cool. Really, really cool. So we're all we're on the home stretch right here. He does. What is that last Pokemon going to be? His team is really cool. I will say that. It's a very cool team. All right. Let's see. Rock Slide. Of course. Why would we not miss? Why would we not miss? Uh, and we're back. Oh, he definitely went for like Roar or something. Or something that's minus priority. I'm actually really curious at what he went for. Because if he had Tailwind up, he'd be like, he's so much faster than me. There's no way. I could be max speed choice scarf and he would still outspeed me. All right, what's this last Mon? Magnezone. You see, this is really scary. Because not only is this a Magnezone, but this is a fast Magnezone. Because he's got Tailwind up. Oh my god. This is not good. If he's got like thunder or something, this could be very scary. This is his last Pokemon though. See, it takes so much damage from rocks, man. I'm going for Flare Blitz. I'm just gonna see if I can get the kill. He does go for Thunderbolt. Will this one shot me? We eat it up. Just don't, okay, didn't paralyze me. We probably will die from this, but do you have Sturdy? Let's see. Oh, that would have been so freaking hype if you didn't have Sturdy. Oh my God, and are we gonna die? And he's just gonna use a. Oh, no, no. I can get a switch on to Palosand here. And I'm just switching him out because if he does go for the Hyper Potion, then uh, we can get him down to, you know, Sturdy again, obviously. And if he doesn't and he just kills me, that's perfectly fine because that means he won't be using one. And then there it is. And there it is. I, as much as I wanna go for like Psychic or something to break the Sturdy and then go for Earth Power, I don't know if we can live anything this wants to throw at us. And I'd rather just get the damage on it. Yeah, I'd rather get it down to Sturdy and put it in a situation whether it has to heal or just die. So, I don't know if he wants to heal this turn too. He does. Hopefully he only has two because this is honestly just wasting time. <laughs> but we are going for it again. And we probably don't outspeed like I said. Maybe the Tailwind will fade though. Will it fade? Let's see. No, I think it, I don't know how many turns it's been. Maybe three. He has three full restores. <laughs> okay. All right. At this point, we're just sitting here just throwing off damage, so it doesn't matter. All right. Let's try to go for Shadow Ball. Four? Yeah, I'm going for Shadow Ball this turn. I think that was the play. Probably should have done that earlier. But if we if we just get killed by his next attack or something, I'm gonna be so salty. I really will. That was a crit. Watch me like assault best Magnezone. Okay. Flash cannon. I knew he'd have it. I'm so mad. I'm actually so mad right now. That's disgusting. I'm gonna try and do this without uh healing anyone. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. If it gets down to Delta, I'm definitely not gonna try because I'm not I'm not gonna just lose to a flash cannon no boy and how much how much we get perfect is that game i don't think flash cannon can kill me as long as i don't get paired here we should be winning right this we resist this right does grass resist steel oh uh, no it doesn't be ah, that's it that should that's game we did it. Sorry for clapping. I know that's kind of obnoxious because it just sounds really weird in the mic, but that that's it. That's the battle. We won. We beat the champion of the Alola region. I couldn't win even though I went all out, but what a refreshing feeling. Yeah, I'm sure, buddy. I'm sure. You're just using that excuse to hide your defeat. You're actually so mad right now. Amazing. It's like I told you before, the strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together in the heat of the moment, when it really counts. And you just proved me right. Congrats, cousin. You're a champion. We can all be proud of. Told you, didn't I? Up here on Mount Huk Hukulani. Man, the Pokemon and the trainers in Alola really are the best. I want everyone in the world to know that, too. 
That's always been my dream. And right here, right now, it finally came true. And it's all thanks to you, Super, and your Lycanroc. Just my Lycanroc, no one else. Just just my freaking Lycanroc. <laughs> and that's it. We became champion. I'm so happy I got to battle you and your team here. Right where my dreams came true. And now, Supra, first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. It's time we record you and be uh, and your beloved team's achievements for eternity. Hell yeah. Oh, heck yeah, man. Congratulations, you are Alola's first ever champion. Hey, Delta. Pajama! Catch this. That cry, oh my god. Die, look at the head shake! Oh, boomer. <laughs> Ramsey. Hey. That was a really cool animation. He was like, ooh. And that's the squadron. And that is the squadron. Congratulations. You are Alola's first ever champion. Dude, look at Palisand. He's like, why am I here? <laughs> I should be at a beach. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Perfect. You've entered the Hall of Fame. Spectacular. Much as the sun shines upon the upon the hello upon the moon, uh, illuminating it. So have the friends, uh, so have the friends you made. I can't mess up this speech, dude. It's important. So have the friends you made during your island challenge illuminated your life. You have grown so much. You really do love your Pokemon with all your heart, don't you, Supra? Yep, that's precisely why he and his Pokemon were able to combine that strength to emerge victorious. Now, we're all going to be aiming for your seat. I hope you're ready for some rivals. The first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League will celebrate so grandly that even the sun and the moon themselves will take notice. Ha. Bro, we're about to get crunk. <laughs> All right, Supra, let's bust a U-turn for Melee Melee Island. We're going to have a big festival in Icky Town. Don't worry, I'm sure Lily will know. Oh yeah, we haven't seen Lily in a little bit. In a little Lily bit. Okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're in Icky Town. Wow, feels good to be home. Look at the trial captains. Look at them. They're all so cool. They're all so cool. Oh, his smile for I love his smile, dude. He's hilarious. That's the little colon bracket face. Oh, uh, unlike the little emoji thing on the keyboard. Yeah, I, I, I took your husband down. What do you want to say about it? Huh? What's up? Oh, it's the me madre. She's like, yeah, yeah. They don't even say good job. They're just like, yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's on Mallow. Who's saying, who are you saying hi to? Oh, Hapu and Lily. I love this music. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this man is Santa, I swear. <laughs> Here he is, the first Pokemon League champion from Alola. This calls for celebration. So I'll get to it. What, are you gonna sacrifice me or something? We have to make a sacrifice to Tapu Koko. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was Ace or Old making that noise. I was so scared. Dude, look at the freaking fire dude in the back. He's just like, ah. Oh, you want to be included, big boy? Come on out. Come on. No, come on, Gladion. This reminds me of the, the SpongeBob episode where he's got the stick with the two marshmallows on the sides. Oh, they all! Oh, oh, dude, I really thought they were all about to do that. I was like, they're all just hit a whip together. Ah, look at him! He's just in. 
<laughs> what the f He's so weird. He's so weird, dude. He's so freaking weird. He's like backing it up in his little Z-move thing. And look at these fireworks, man. Oh, we're still part- Still partying to- Party till the sun go down. Party till the AM. Hey. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yo, stop jumping. Like, jeez. Hi, Lily. Does Lily have teeth? Like, she always opens her mouth, but, like, there's no teeth there. I'm so scared. Like... It's 2016 and I still don't have a Vickavolt shirt. Wow. Super, congratulations on becoming the champion. It's amazing, isn't it? All these people are here just to help you celebrate this achievement, Supra. Everyone looks so happy. The adults, the children, even the Pokemon. And yeah, that Probo Pass was looking pretty happy. It, it hasn't all been easy, but I'm really glad that I came to Alola. Getting to meet you, Supra. No, I wasn't just, it wasn't just meeting you. It was traveling together with you. I'm so glad I got to be a part of that journey. Hey, Supra, it looks like the party is going to keep on going strong for some time. Wouldn't you stay? Do you think maybe we could sneak out for a second and visit the ruins of conflict? I heard from Kahuna Hollow that the bridge has been fixed. Damn, she's trying to get some alone time, Hey, I think Tapu Koko must be waiting. I'm sure it's waiting for you to come to it, Supra. Uh, now that you finished your island challenge. Alright. Well, here we are. This brings back memories. <laughs> of freaking Lily almost dying here. <laughs> or me almost dying, actually. Hello? Now, this really takes me back. Back when I could barely think about anything. I was so desperate. But thinking back on it now, it really was Lunala. I mean, it was Nebi who brought, us to, uh, brought, the, uh, brought the two of us together, wasn't it, Supra? Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Yo, what, what, if, what if we got attacked by Spearows on the bridge and we send out our Pokemon and just like blow them back? That'd be hilarious. All right, so here's the Ruins of Conflict. I love the little Zygarde core just chilling right there. See, I called it a core that time, not the cube. There's been someone in the comments that's yelling at me. Because I call him cubes, he's like, damn, super still calling him Zygarde cubes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just a mistake. It's a mistake. All right, so here's the Ruins of Conflict. So she said Tapu Koko is going to be waiting for us, but uh, where he at, though? In that back room or something? He's not here either. He just dipped. It was because of your help that Cosmog lived and we were able and it was able to become Lunala. Please allow me to thank you on its behalf. Thank you so very much. That's a rock, bro. It's actually a rock. It's your turn next, Supra. I want you to see I want uh excuse me. <laughs> I can't read. I want to see you show your appreciation in the way that uh, only a lowless champion could. I know you can do this, Supra. Hope your team are ready. Or I'll make your team ready too. Alright. Well, if I think, um, or if what is it happen, or what is about to happen, I think it's about to happen. You hear a voice ringing in your head, as though it's coming from your Z ring. It is time! <laughs> Devil go, go, go! I'm Coco for Coco Puss. So apparently this dude speaks English. He's, it is time. <laughs> Tapu Coco appeared. All right. So I guess we have to catch Tapu Coco now. That's really cool. All right. He's level 60. All right. Well, I want to catch it. I don't want to kill it. That's a fairy move. Uh, Rock Slide definitely won't kill. 
All right, I'm gonna go for another one. Actually, start to go for a quick ball. What could his master ball? No, no, no. Let's see. We're gonna waste a little bit of time battling this homie, and then we'll chuck one. All right, so if we can get them down to like, as long as this doesn't crit here, we should be good. I'm gonna be very salty if it crits. I'm not gonna lie. If you crit, I swear to freaking god. Thank you. All right. Um. I guess this is one of our only options right here. Just going for an Ultra Ball, right? Let's see. Will this kill? Not not kill. Don't kill. That'd be bad. Then will you catch? Alright, so that should kill me, right? What happened? Why did that one not... Did he crit me the first turn and I didn't see it? I have no idea. Alright. Come on. Come on! Come on! Yo! Second try. Was that second or third try? I think it was second. But not bad. We caught Tapu Coco. I wonder what his catch rate is, actually. I really do wonder. Oh. Huh. Anyways. Tapu Coco's data will be added to the Pokedex. Hell yeah, it will. Alright. So there we go. The Land Spirit Pokemon. So what do we want to name this thing? Tapu Coco. I don't know what the hell to name a freaking legendary Pokemon. You could tap on these nuts, right? Right? Right, guys? Um, I'm just not going to name him. I'm not going to name the legendary. That'd be stupid. I also don't really have a good nickname. But let's check this thing out. Let's check this thing out. Impish nature. That's freaking garbage. Garbage. Send him to the box. That's actually trashed here. Holy sh... <laughs> Alright. Perfect. So we caught Tapu Coco. Yeah? What just happened? A Z crystal clattered to the floor at your feet. Tapunium Z. Ah, okay, okay. Tapu Coco. I know it will aspire to ever, uh, to ever greater heights at the side of your, uh, from you now, Supra. Dude, I can't read, but I'm so glad we could come here. It had me, uh, it had been weighing on my heart. Come on, Supra, we should get back to the village. If we don't return soon, everyone will realize that we slipped away from the festival. Does anyone else realize that we just caught the freaking island guardian? Like, the only thing this island has to guard it, we just took. Like, it's ours now. So, that thing's gonna be in the PC. So, if there's ever a problem on the island, like, Tapu Coco is not coming out of the PC. Like, he's just gonna be chilling there. Everyone looks like they're having so much fun that I don't think they even noticed we left. Oh, and the battle royales are about to begin. About to begin. Oh, there he is, the masked royale. <laughs> Look at this, this is sick. It is so much de Oh, and he's got a fr- Damn, dude. Talk about bringing a knife to a gunfight. Or a paperclip to a knife fight. Like, Jesus Christ. Definitely not the optimal play. Why is that one dude here? Is he like Sophocles' bodyguard? Because that dude is actually eight years old. So the Masked Royale is Kukui. And Kukui is also the champion? And a professor? This man is doing too much. This man is doing too much. Alright. Well. I mean, we get it. We're at a party. Like, how much longer do we have to watch that us at a party for? Man, look at Kukui chatting it up. That other dude's just jumping like... Damn, you okay, bro? Dude, he's slumped. He is slumped. Look at Lana just chilling next to him. Uh, it's a beautiful festival, isn't it? Everyone looks so happy. I hope you'll always stay just the way you are now, Supra. Look how your joy has brought so much light to everyone here. 
I think even my mother would have smiled and laughed to see this, if she could have come. I think my mother is getting a bit better. She even tried to come tonight. I've been trying to help her understand- Dude, I would have been so in my feels if Lusamine came to this little festival. Holy crap. I've been trying to help her understand what she did wrong. Gently, of course. But she needed someone to, uh, she needed someone to scold her. But in the process, I think I've discovered what I have to do next. What it is I, uh, that I can do. Super, I, I'm going to, I'm going to fireworks. Baby, you're bad. Uh, Super, I'm going to become Katy Perry. Tell me, what are you going to? No, no? Yeah? Make up your freaking mind, woman. Please make up your mind. God damn. Look at this, everybody's so fired up, woo! We've got the birth of a- Oh, this is the music they always play in the trailer things. I love the strongest ever trainer to celebrate after all. I'm going to keep training with Ilima for a while. Why Ilima? He has a freaking Smeargle! And then, I'm coming for you, Champion Supra. Supra! Sorry, I mean Champion. I'm sure everybody here wants to see your partners too. Come on and show us those partners that we were uh, that were there for so many of our discoveries. New experiences and adventures on the island challenges. Alright, they're about to see the Zygarde and flip to hell. Like, they're gonna freak out. They'll be like, yo, holy damn! Alright, throw them out. Come on, throw, throw them out of our Pokeballs. Your positivity is glow- you're positively glowing. Dude, just throw out your Pokeballs. Aw, they didn't edit that part. They didn't make it. Dang it. I wanted to see like my whole team out there just booling. Just chilling. And there it is, guys. Pokemon Moon. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I honestly think this is the best Pokemon game. And so Super's Island Challenge came to an end. I've never played a Pokemon game. That has actually, like, like, my emotions actually got into the game. Like, this game was, it was very feels, it felt like a real RPG. Like, wow. Emotional involvement in this game was absolutely insane. Jeez, it, it's unlike any other Pokemon game. It's my favorite. It is definitely my favorite, for sure. All right, we're at home. Now, I wonder what will happen today. Uh, what was the doorbell? Oh, that's gotta be Kukui. Why don't you let him in, Supra? Maror? Okay, Maror, sure, whatever. Oh, and of course, oh, it's just how. Supra, what's up, bro? A total disaster. Oh, oh no. What's wrong, how? Oh, Auntie, everything. What will happen? I'll explain later, but Super has to come with me right now. The ship is gonna leave. What? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Howoli City Marina. You know, Lily, Kanto was a long way uh, from here. Try not to let the jet lag hit you too hard. Burnett's as well. She said she'd, uh, wait, can't, wait, Lily's going to Kanto? No. You didn't tell us? No. How oh, I'm sorry, but I've decided I have to go to Kanto to help my mother get better. More than that, to help myself get strong. No. No, it doesn't. I'm going to become a real trainer and meet all kinds of wonderful... Oh, no, man. She's going to Kanto. Oh, my God. Oh, my freaking... I'm so sad. I'm so sad. And that's why someday... Someday I'll be back to a little... You better. 
I'm actually so I was so excited to like visit Lily in the post game, be like it was popping, and I really I actually hope Luzamine stays. I want to go talk to Luzamine and see what she has to say about you know going to Ultra Space and you know trying to you know literally hopping inside a freaking Nihiligo stuff like that. I just kind of asked her. I don't want her opinions on her actions. Damn. So that's what she was trying to tell us, but she cut herself off by the fireworks. So the fireworks cut her off, and then she just stopped talking. Then I suppose this is goodbye. I guess so. I, I guess so, yeah. Alola. Alola. Wow. You know, I was talking about a couple seconds ago how this game got me and my feels. Did change. Definitely didn't change. How, I know what it's like when you can't help but cry. But you know, when you're saying goodbye to someone you love, you gotta show them one last smile. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go see my gramps. Yeah, let's all go home. We've been, we have people waiting for us. Our families are waiting for us. See, how has teeth? Like, you can see him. Oh my god, dude. And here are the credits. Jeez, man. What an amazing game. Really. What a great game. Um, I'm curious, what are your guys' opinions on the game? Is it your favorite game? Is it up there? Um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of Sun and Moon. If you beat the game, obviously. I mean, I'm assuming if you watch this episode, you probably beat it, because, you know, you wouldn't want to spoil yourself, so. Let me know what you guys thought of Sun and Moon. I'm actually really, really curious. Uh, but yeah, it's so good. The story's so freaking amazing, man. Wow. Well, um, yeah, that concludes our main story lp of pokemon sun and moon i do plan to do a little bit of post game not really sure i know i want to do an episode where we catch uh ultra beast we catch you know all the tapus tapu lele tapu bulu tapu um Vinny. i do definitely want to uh, catch those guys um i don't know i feel like that'd just be a fun video i want to catch the ultra beasts like i said i don't really know how to encounter them though um i want to catch uh, there's another legendary Pokemon. I won't spoil the name, but the only reason I know because I know of it is because um, competitive. Um, uh, but yeah, I want to do those. I'm um, not really sure what else kind of post game I want to do. I know there's some battles, uh, battle tree. I might want to explore a little bit. I have no. It, it really just depends on the support. Like if it's, the support's not there, you guys obviously don't want to see a Pokemon. You know the post game of it, which is completely understandable. I don't. I, I totally get it. Um, but yeah, like I said, that actually concludes our. Pokemon Sun and Moon playthrough on the channel. Now, as for my plans, now, um, honestly, I really don't know. Like I said, post game, but I do also do, I don't know. I know I'm going to be doing a co op of this game, a co op with someone. Should be very, very soon, actually. You guys should be seeing that pretty soon. Um, it's with Whoopsire. <laughs> I'm going to spoil a little bit of it, spoil just a little bit with Whoopsire, and it should be very, it's going to be a great project, it's going to be awesome, so you guys will see this game again, but it's definitely going to be a different variation of playstyle, and it's going to be an amazing playthrough, so get hyped for that, that's a plan, um, obviously top fives are staying here on the channel, oh shizzle, I love doing those, uh, and you guys definitely enjoy them too, uh, I plan to bring free for alls uh, to the channel, you guys will enjoy that for sure, just gonna be fun uh, I just need to get Pokemon or like mons that I can use and then should be in business I'm also planning on doing Wi-Fi battles um, I probably won't have them up like every day or anything but I definitely do want to do Wi-Fi battles on the channel uh, it's probably gonna be the most scarce thing that you'll see like it just, just won't be uploaded that much depending on support obviously everything is tentative to support um, but I I don't know I guess that's really all my plans as for now isn't really much that uh much else to talk about except to just watch these credits roll
Damn. Can't believe we beat it. But um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, if there is stuff after the credits, I'll just, you know, close my DS and stuff. It's fine. Because uh, I don't want to miss, like, you know, a cutscene that gets us into the post game or something like that. But without further ado, I'm going to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for our LP. It does mean so much to me if you watch this playthrough. Because uh, obviously there's like millions of play, not millions, but there's hundreds of playthroughs on YouTube. And if you chose this one at any point in time, if just one episode, ten episodes, doesn't matter. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, new supporter, old supporter. Love you guys equally. And uh, with that being said, leave a like if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.